Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Akil and today I'm going to be doing a review for Pokemon Detective Pikachu guys. So without further ado guys, let's just jump right into this. So to start off with for my pre-rating score, I'm going to say that Pokemon Detective Pikachu is a good movie guys. Yes, I was uh, enjoying myself throughout this uh, film and uh, I wasn't bored or anything like that. It was a good solid fun uh, film. So yeah. Alright. Let's just jump right into the story guys. So the story of this movie without spoiling much. The trailers have actually done a good job of finding some major plot points which is great. Some characters and the ending of the movie which is great. But really the trailers have given off the idea that this is in fact a mystery movie. Yes, po uh, Pokemon you know they're everywhere but Pikachu you know can talk. Alright and he apparently is the only one that can talk. And uh, they have to figure out why, and uh, well, he and Justice Smith's character, Tim Goodman, who is apparently 21 years old, and uh, he's also trying to solve his own mystery, in, or his own case, and that's finding out what happened to his father. So yeah, so after some unexpected circumstances, uh, they meet up in Rhyme City, and uh, in uh, his father's uh, apartment, and the two embark on this mini adventure, kind of, I guess, to find out. <clears throat> well, it's more of a mystery. Uh, well, it's more of a. Well, pro well, what I'm trying to say, guys, is that they're just trying to solve this mystery, and the two embark on this little mini adventure along the way to come across all these different Pokemon and twists and turns, this and that, and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Now, the trails have given away the fact that Mewtwo is in this movie. Now, I won't tell you the role Mewtwo plays, but. That character surprised me on the direction they went with that character. I was like, oh, okay, interesting. But I didn't say that out loud. But now the thing of it, it was actually interesting. So yeah. And what was really funny is that every time Pokemon appeared on the screen, it was just like, I could name some of almost all of them. Almost all. So not all, but almost all. There were like one or two of them. Yeah, I can't remember this. Or I don't think I've seen this one before. So yeah. Um... So yeah, but really it's just a mystery story and uh, that's really, there's another little support, support added to it, added into it, but that's really it guys, that's all the story without spoiling anything, so yeah. Alright, let's just jump right into the positives now, so, the first major positive is basically the world. I really like the world of Pokemon and how they did it in this movie, it was just great, from the design of the characters to, you know, the interaction with the humans and all type of stuff. And the way that, you know, they communicated, especially the way Pikachu communicated. So that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> it just, uh, it didn't put a massive smile on my face, but it just brought me to back to my childhood. I was so happy to see, like, this world come to us. Because Pokemon was something that I loved watching. I constantly kept watching the episodes, uh, even the new seasons. And, uh... I bought, uh, well I didn't buy but my parents did and I actually own some of the, I still own I believe in the garage somewhere, like some of the uh, very first episodes of Pokemon which is uh, crazy. I used to play with the trading cards and all type of stuff. So really the world is something that I was really interested in how they would tackle and they did it so well. Rob Wennerman, great job and everyone behind the the design of the Pokemon, the design of the city, Rhyme City and all type of stuff and the other places too. Very great job. Even uh. Uh, Mewtwo, he looks fantastic. He or she, I don't know, but I'm guessing it's a he, so yeah. They're all great, and I absolutely loved, loved how they did the world in this movie, guys. The world of Pokemon, so yeah. Next up, uh, these are kind of, uh, two pos uh, positives put into one, but I'm, I'll explain why. And that's Ryan Reynolds and Justice Smith, guys, yes. The reason why I'm putting both of them in one is that we really are, you know, the major characters and they really are probably the only best parts of this movie. Yes, I actually didn't mind Justice Smith, but Ryan Reynolds stole the entire show. He was funny, he was likable, he was uh, uh, adorable as Pikachu, well, surprisingly adorable, but it's the face of Pikachu that's adorable, so yeah. But I really like that. Their relationship, that was really good. Kind of felt like, um, um, well, not like, well, like live action. Uh, characters burning with animation and I know this is a bad example but this is also childhood for me um Alvin and the Chipmunks kind of like that I know those movies aren't great they're very kitty they're very childish but still that's the best example I can give of here and uh yeah 
But anyway, those two were really good in this movie, and uh, and I did buy the relationship between those two. So yeah, the emotional stuff was good. I'm not saying that them as separate characters was good. I'm saying them working together was good. But overall, those two working together, I really like. So yeah, and there's also something funny at the end, which I was like, okay, okay, I, that was good. That was kind of funny. So yeah, and finally, the humor. The humor in this movie is really, really good. I absolutely. Uh, loved the tone and hu the well the humor in this movie, guys. Yeah, the tone was a bit off at some points, but the humor is really good. So yeah. All right, now let's jump into the negative. So first up, it was a bit cliched. Yes, there are parts in this movie where you kind of have seen this type of thing before. Uh, not really the mystery element of it. That was kind of its own thing, I guess, because it's based on Pokemon, blah blah blah, that type of stuff. But the whole element of the villain and all type of stuff, what they really wanted to do, that that kind of felt cliched. And there's a uh, girl uh, who was helping him, who's actually a reporter working for a company. Uh, she kind of felt cliched too. Like, and there was a relationship in this movie that also kind of felt cliched. So yeah, and some of the lines, yeah, but that's that. Anyway, next up, I needed uh, this movie needed more surprises. I needed more like surprises. Like, wow, didn't see that coming. Or wow, they did that. That was crazy. Like, if like um. <clears throat> Excuse me for what I, what happened just then, but if they like just threw in like a curveball, not a curveball, like just if they just like put in suddenly a big Pokemon and all type of stuff, like Arceus for example, which by the way does not appear in this movie, so that's not a spoiler. If Arceus appears appeared in this movie, I w w would have been shocked because he's like OP. But I'm guessing they didn't want to overdo it with the OP Pokemon in this movie, guys. Yeah, not that that wasn't a lot. There kind of was at times, but still. Anyway, there was some uh, one or two things that I was like, oh, okay, that's that's kind of interesting. In my mind, I was saying that. So yeah, and finally, it could have had more battles. I wish this movie had more battles so I could have enjoyed it a lot more. And not to say that I didn't, I did, but it needed more action. Pokemon's usually action packed. And this movie had action, but it had more drama and emotion than I thought it would. But that's still fine. So yeah. So overall, I enjoyed myself watching this movie. And if you're a Pokemon fan, definitely go check this out because they do some really great stuff. Especially the end credits. Uh, there's no end credit scene. I heard there is, but I didn't stay for that. So I can't really say much about that. But um, I do know actually what it is. So yeah. But the end credits, the way they do the title, uh, the end credit stuff is a really great uh, tribute to the whole world of Pokemon. It's very nostalgic how they do it, so yeah. But they do a great job with that. Also the music I did like in this movie. First I was a little skeptical by how, how it sounded because when I heard the soundtrack and it was done by Henry Jackman. <coughs> who did uh, Winter Soldier Civil War Note, I was like, oh okay. This should be interesting, and then when I listened to the soundtrack online before I saw the movie, I was like, really, they're doing this? It didn't really sound like Pokemon at all, but when I watched the movie, I just let it pass. So overall, I really enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed myself for the most part. I wish this movie was a little bit better, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm still happy with what I got and what I saw. So overall, I'm going to wrap things up as a final score and give Pokemon Detective Pikachu a 7 out of 10. Definitely go check this out if you're a Pokemon fan and if you're someone also looking for a good solid time at the theater, definitely go check this out. So yeah, so Pokemon Detective Pikachu, what do you think of it? Tell me in the comments below. My name's Akil and I'm signing out.